<laughs> Hi everyone. Um, it's me Stella Lin from Handy and Selling Page with my daughter. What's your name? Mommy, why you call me? My <laughs> yeah. Um, I was planning to do it really early in the morning so I can, uh, you know, uh, present myself. Um, uh, in a serious mood, but I think they decided to wake up early too. And then uh, just now, uh, she have a no split, so I'm uh, really uh, taken aback. Um, Why the same as Coco? Same as you, yes. Um, so anyway, Coco. Uh, today is the first day of my go live. I want to. Um, share with you guys um, my a bit of a story about myself. How did I um, transitioning from being a regular employee into uh, an online business owner? And then, you know, every new story begins with um, begins with a story, right? Um, so, Papa, I win right there. Yeah. Um, so, you know, um in life if there's no if there's no trigger right we will we will always um following the flow of the of the life which also the same as me i was uh also a, a regular employee i follow uh the life by the book you know um following my dreams i want a better life i want a better future for my kids um we went to college, got a degree, got um, a good a good job, and then uh, getting a house, pay the mortgage, and then uh, life continue, right? So uh, I didn't really realize what was happening uh, in my life. I just kind of um, doing. Mommy, how did you go? Go right here, and I go right here. Yes, because you're in the show. <laughs> Sorry about the distraction, but uh, yeah. So I just want to share with you guys a bit of the story. So just so you um, can relate more um, with me throughout this journey, uh, I want to open up a bit. So um, it all started in 2018 when my uh, second daughter, Emily, not second daughter, second kids, um, when she was born, um, uh, my dad uh, was came here uh, to, see, to see Emily to come here. And then um, he was a healthy guy. And then after three days playing with the gra grandkids here in Canada, uh, our life, uh, it's different because he just passed away and then we know by then that uh, nothing is predictable in life you know uh, today we have our soul today we have our life but the next morning um, you might be God might have a different story with you right so uh, since then since 2018 um, since the loss of our death um, we know that we we no longer wants to work hard just to pay our mortgage. We want to start living the life. We want to start enjoying the moment. We want to start. <laughs> we don't want to wait to work thirty more years and then you know start enjoying life when we're old. When we don't have any more energy to start getting to know our kids, right? We want it now. And then, uh, even though we have that desire, we still don't know what to do. We still don't know how to get out of the employee um, employee world. So life keeps going on. I, uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just love what I did. Actually, I love my work. I love my job. So a bit of myself. I'm an Indonesian. I uh, moved here in 2014 with my husband. Um, so uh, I have a 12 years experience as a QA specialist. 
And then um, it was actually a very demanding job because uh, when you're good at your job, your boss will love you. Your boss will give you a lot of project. And, uh, you know, as your uh, positions rank up, your responsibility also built up, right? And then... Uh, Coco still sleeping, true. <laughs> so, right, uh, if you know when you have more salary, you have more a uh, better position, it, it feels like the company owns you too, right? Uh, even in the middle of the night, there will be still email coming in. There will still be um, a, a, a project that you have to, um, you know, think about you wake up in the middle of the night thinking about oh no how do i deal with this and then i didn't realize it uh by then you know i was i was just doing my life if people ask me uh hi stella how are you i will say i'm okay right but one thing that uh, i didn't realize is when i am answering my life is okay. It's actually not okay because our life is supposed to be Mommy, exciting. Our life is supposed to be joyful. Say yeah, it's, yeah, baby. Yes, baby. <laughs> right? So uh, there's one night that I realized that I'm, I have reached my peak. You know, um, if you guys know here living in uh, abroad, everything looks like uh, a good life uh, back in my hometown in Indonesia. Wow, you live abroad, you live uh, a good life, you know, but uh, there's a price that we have to pay, which is we are leaving our big family behind, which is you raising a kid by yourself, you juggling between being a mom, being an employee, and being a housewife, being a driver, being a groceries shopper, and then a cook, right? Everything by yourself. Uh, even though my mom now is was here now, uh, but back then I I there's a time that um, I'm doing everything by myself, and then I have no time, even for uh, go to the washroom uh, when when she's still a little kid. I don't have time to take care of myself and that that's a great mistake because you know if we don't have time to love ourselves we cannot give our best version to love someone that we love so i just want to share this story um one night i came back home um you know i came home late so I uh, have to pick Mommy. my kids from daycare late. And then there was an accident on the road. Um, so the daycare um, start at 7 a.m., um, stop at 6 p.m., right? It, it is uh, 11 Mommy. hours, my kids in the daycare. And then at that, that day, um, I picked them up late. I picked them up late um, and then, you know, after I picked them up, uh, after I picked them up, sorry about that. After I picked them up, uh, I still have to cook dinner at home. So I quickly just uh, throw everything in into the stove. And then um, my kid just say this, uh, mommy, I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat your cook. So I exploded. I said to my kid, uh, okay, do whatever you want. I was screaming. I was, you know, I was, I was leaving them alone. And then I went to my room by my side, by myself. And then, uh, you know, I have this terrible, terrible thought coming into my head. I said, uh, why do I have these kids? Why, 
why I have you guys. Leave me alone, you know. Um, I know it, it wasn't me. I know that I shouldn't, as a mom, I shouldn't have that thought at all. But um, I was really, I, I realized that I was really overwhelmed with my life, juggling home work, home work, right? Go to work and then home, go to work, and then home. And then I, uh, that that guilty thought always, um, you know, haunted me, even though I know it's not my kid's fault, you know, uh, it's not their fault to, to, ha uh, to need attention. I know they, they just sometimes testing the parents just because they, they have lack of attention. It's not their fault being born in this world. It's just uh, it's just the way of life that we choose, right? Um, and then <clears throat> and then I think uh, if I if I keep doing the way I am doing, I will still be the the bad mom that I used to with that um, horrible horrible thought. And then you know what? Um, as you guys know, COVID is happening. In 2020, I got reduced hour, I got reduced income, and then eventually I got laid off from my job. Um, at that time, it was a very depressing moment in my life. But uh, think back on it now, I feel like God has opened the door for me, right? Um, by uh, having less work to do, having, um, you know, having time more for myself and for my family um now now um now i have i have um encountered this online business which enables me to work in flexible time <laughs> right uh so actually my husband um uh, in 2018 as uh, he's he start thinking that um, you know our parents will never live forever, and then if we didn't spend time with our parents now, we will regret it. We will we will regret it for sure. No, no, no. If all we do is only work, 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 work. So he started to uh, uh, find how to how to become a business owner and then uh, we tried so many businesses we tried trucking business we tried um uh, franchisee we tried um even uh playing stock actually he did all that and then uh until in 2019 he found this business an online business um when you compare it with our other business amazon business you know it's half a, a lesser uh things to do, do because everything was done uh in automation by the system uh and then this is exactly a business that we are looking for you know it creates a, a time for ourselves and then you know what <clears throat> when you have a way to create more time for you to do the things that you really want to do and then for me is to spend more time with my kids every day and then have at least one hour me time for myself doing what i need to do take care of myself you know it's priceless no amount of money will ever uh, buy that for you you know i've uh I have a good salary before, but I'm, I'm I'm still not happy. And then if I work hard and then um, I I gain more position in, in the company and then I buy that, I sacrifice more time with my kids, I don't think I will be happy, you know. I don't think um, any parents need to choose between their career and their kids. Um, and then right now today i'm so happy that i found a way that i can build my career around my family and then um you know uh i think i think daniel and emily is my biggest why and then 
and then life is short you know today i might still uh living and then what if tomorrow something happened to me right so the other my why is also to build a legacy that i can pass down to him if something happened knock on wood um i'm already paving the road for him uh, i'm i'm giving the best legacy that i can give for my kids so um i have my time for for me uh and at the same time i'm building a legacy that i can pass down to my kids so uh, that's a story a bit of a story about why i decided to jump into an online business um because if believe me if there's no uh several moments that is happening in my life uh i would still be an employee just like anybody else if i didn't get laid off if my dad in law uh was still health and strong if i never have a uh, you know all that stress related sickness i i didn't mention that uh i think it will be a long story to tell but i i do have a lot of um story behind it um why i'm um i'm decided to jump into an online business but you know um all, all we need is actually just a time to reflect so i'm actually very grateful for covid uh happening which means i have time to reflect uh is it really uh the path that i want um you know sometimes life is just too busy and then we don't know if we're doing uh if we're going to the right direction that we want in life right so um so if if i have to choose i will choose the same thing i will go with an online business right in the beginning because you know what money is just a currency we used to um to see how life how our life is worth for us and then by being an employee i i think that we just giving away that um that privilege to our employer to let us know this is your worth by giving us our paycheck this is your life's worth this is your time's worth and then i don't think this moment this time this um this relationship and a bond that i um used to nurture my kids <laughs> see is uh ever comparable to any any paycheck worth in the world so um yeah i just want to say thank you again for everyone who uh joined in today ala lucy uh sugi hi um yeah it's a bit about myself today um and then in this journey uh it will be a 10 days uh, where i will be um you know sharing uh the how people can also transition from an employee uh or a housewife into a business owner uh we will uh i will be interacting with you um in 10 days from monday to friday um oh thank you guys so much um hello uh, in these 10 days, Monday to Friday, uh, I will uh, come up here at the same time, um, you know, uh, 7.45 a.m. And then I will, I, will, I will share more to you about how uh, everyday people can jump into an online business. So uh, I'll see you on my next video. Hi, guys. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much for... Uh, tuning in um, and then I hope to see you again on my next video uh, thank you everyone bye bye want to say bye 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 <laughs>